I need to build a hidden castle that will pop up out of the ground and be totally blended in with the natural environment so no visible redstone or any odd blocks that look suspicious. It's going to be a challenge, but it's going to be really cool if it works. And I think the best way to start is to work out how are we going to push up the walls. Well, really, pistons are the only option we have for this task. Okay, that's one block. I don't think that counts as a castle, though. All right, if we just flick this lever and then this lever, there we are. There's two blocks now. Hardly a castle, but we're getting there. Here's the design that I came up with, and it works by using smart pistons, which can sense if there's a block in front of them and pushes it out of the way, like so. And if we have another piston pushing blocks on top of that one, then you'll see it's a self-building wall. And all we need now is another piston to feed this piston. Oh, wait. We're gonna need another piston to feed this piston and another one to feed that. Oh, shoot. We're stuck in a loop. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, is this idea of impossible anymore? Oh, oh we're gonna need to scrap everything and come up with a new idea. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, this might work. This might work. Oh, if we use a gravity block like gravel, then we can stack it up like this. And once the bottom one's pushed out, the next one can just fall under. Oh, that's so good. Okay, I think this might work. And here we go. We got to test it out. Three, two, one. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. The torch. Gosh darn it. Oh, okay, we're going to need a workaround for that. One small workaround later. Now we have the power coming from the side here instead of the bottom. So let's see if it works. And... Yes! So now all we have to do is put all of the pistons in and get the feed tape starting to roll. Okay, now that we got it in the ground, we can push the gravel up to 12 blocks. We can stack it up to 12 because the piston push limit is 12. So now we got 12 blocks of gravel. Holy cow, that's a lot of gravel. How are we going to hide that? This is supposed to be a hidden castle. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, this is going to work out great. Okay, so here's the thing. Before... Before I show you what I did, I need you to keep an open mind, all right? You know, nothing's perfect in life and the same goes for Minecraft. Just a disclaimer, just a disclaimer. Give this design a little while to grow on you before you judge it. Here it is, here it is. What if we turn the gravel into a tree? That's right. <laughs> uh, I probably wouldn't notice it if I wasn't looking directly at it. Like over here. Mm, eh. Or even better, over here. Yeah, yeah, I probably wouldn't notice it if I was looking right here. All right, what we need to do now is build up multiple of these machines side by side. And, oh, shoot, I, I didn't think of the gravel. Oh no, there's gonna be a line of gravel here. Okay, okay, we can find a way around this. We've dealt with harder problems before. You remember what I said about the gravel tree and how not to judge it on the first impression? Well, double that disclaimer for this reveal. Yeah, mm-hmm, okay, it's a chunky boy. But you know, I don't think that they would notice. Yeah, yeah, trees made out of trap doors all right next to each other in a perfect line. Happens in Minecraft all the time. I probably see one every other Thursday, really. All right, it's official. We are scrapping the gravel idea and starting over. I still think it's possible to make a pop-up castle. I just need a better way to place blocks right here. What if? <gasps> Ooh, 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 that would be perfect. What if we use a cobblestone generator, huh? It literally prints out blocks. Look at this. It's a block printer. Yes, I do think this is going to work out. Oh, if we use the cobblestone generator, the castle will be able to fix itself. That's perfect. That's going to be so cool. Oh, and if a griefer comes along and blows up your castle, all you have to do is press a button and it regenerates. Now we need to figure out the most efficient way to get the blocks from the cobblestone generator to the smart pistons. I think the best way is to have each block have their own cobblestone generator. That would be the fastest, but I don't know if we have enough room. So we might have to build one centralized cobblestone generator and then have it pushed out from there. This is gonna take some grade A thinking. That works? What? Perfect. Oh, this is gonna work. 
This is gonna work. This is working out really well. I am so surprised that we are here. It's actually going to work. So I made a cobblestone generator and it didn't work. So after a couple hours of working on this cobblestone generator, well, actually stone generator, we really wanted stone so it blends in with the environment. So what we did actually was, well, let me just show you. If we give this lever a flick, there we are. You'll see that the blocks actually get pulled down and then pushed this way. And they get pulled down at just the right moment. You can't even see the block here immediately just gets pulled down. And that was really tough to try to find the timings for this whole thing because lava flows every 15 redstone ticks so that means we had to have a circuit that was equal to 15 redstone ticks that was kind of a little bit tricky to figure out but we finally figured this out which isn't the most conventional way to do redstone but it works it's self-repairing oh it's gonna be so awesome and a great thing about this is it's tileable that means that not all the pistons have to fire at once which is great because if we only have a few blocks that need filling like these so these pistons right here they don't need a fire because they're all the way full but those three right there do so if we flick this lever there we are perfect those will all fill in without even budging the other ones because if you didn't have them tileable then blocks would be popping up here and it would all be a mess in theory this works i mean it all works in my head but does it work uh, oh oh um, okay you know what that kind of worked. Hey, hey, look at that. You even have the castle groove up on top. That's going to be cool rising up. Oh, man. Okay, so here's the real test, right? If we destroy a couple blocks. Here we go. Nope. Oh, it's working. Oh, there it goes. I think. Uh, I'm not sure. Hold on. Let me give this another test. All right, button press in three, two, one. Uh, yes. Yes, <laughs> we've done it. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we did this. Holy crap, it works. I'm so excited, man. This thing's gonna actually work. Oh my goodness. Okay, all I have to do is make one of these, but a little bit longer right here, right there, right there. Oh, it's so glorious. Oh my goodness, this is gonna work. Oh shoot, oh no. Oh. Oh no, you're kidding. Not again. Oh, oh okay. That's good. I th think it worked. Yes, it worked. Yeah. Well, let's get the other ones in. Oh man, getting these three sides in took way longer than it should have. Oh my goodness. I ran into almost every problem in the book. There was so much wrong with the initial design. I don't want to bore you with the details, but oh my goodness, like this whole section right here needed to be redesigned. We had to add in this clock right here. So this fires twice before this pushes a new block here so it doesn't get caught up behind. I don't even know how it worked in the first place because everything just seemed wrong. I'm really, really hoping that this, that this works first try, but I have a lot of doubts. Three, two, one. There we are. Um. Oh. One. One worked. Oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> you know what? Let's give it one more button press and hope that fixes it. Nope. This time, I'm really hoping they all come up together. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. No way! Oh my goodness! What? It's working! Oh! Go! 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 Oh my goodness! <laughs> Holy crap, it actually worked! What? I was not expecting that. Holy crap, it actually worked! works i gotta see that again i gotta see that again that can't be just a fluke to prove it's not a fluke here we go oh Ooh, it looks good it looks like it's gonna do it uh oh oh there it is oh my goodness it actually works and once we cover this up you won't even notice 
Like it'll just pop up out of, oh my goodness. All right, we gotta get this covered up. We gotta get this. Oh man, I'm excited now. So many times during this project, I was like, nah, this, it's it's impossible. It won't work. Oh, and then there's just breakthroughs and it's like, oh, maybe. And then, oh yes. You're just walking along or along this nice stony beach and all of a sudden, oh, a button. I wonder what that does. What? Whoa! <laughs> oh man, that's a castle right there. All you need to do, punch a door, there we are. Honestly, this turned out really good, but I still wanna decorate it and make it look like an actual castle. So let's do that real quick. We just got done with all the bits and bobs of the decoration and well, I'll admit, I did go a little bit overboard on all the detailing, but it does look more like a castle now. But now it's time to test this beast out. So let's start with one block and see if it can repair one missing block. When I press this button, it should fix this hole. So let's give it a try. Three, two, one. Yes, I was a little nervous about whether it would work only if all the pistons fired, but no, each part can work individually, which is great. But now it's time to really put this thing to the test. Say, I'm not crazy about this deep slate right here. Well, all I have to do is punch it out and then press the button to repair the wall. So let's give that a try. Press this button right here and there we go. The wall just fixes itself. That is so cool. Oh my goodness, I love that so much. Time to step it up another notch. Can it still work if we blow it up with TNT, huh? All right, here we go. And... Ooh. Oh! Wow, that is a lot of damage. And if we just give the button a press, ooh, there it goes. There it is, rising up out of the ashes. Oh my goodness, there it is. Man, this thing's practically invincible. Just imagine you see someone walking in the distance across this totally flat natural land, and then they press a button and a castle rises out of the ground. Then you're so jealous you go over there to break it down, but they just press a button and it fixes itself. I would be furious but also very impressed. This contraption is crazy impressive. The wow factor is just off the charts. This is probably the coolest machine I've ever built in Minecraft. It was difficult trying to figure out how to make it work, but all that effort has paid off big time. As always, world download in the description. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.